My name is Sarah Woodbury. I'm here today with my husband, Dan, to talk about Dole with Ellen. This is Dole with Ellen Castle, another castle built by the Welsh princes, begun by Suellen Vaur and refurbished and expanded by his grandson, Suellen Ap Griffith. It is one of a number of stone castles that Suellen Vaur built during his reign. Dole with Ellen was built on a Roman road through a pass in Snowdonia. It guards the Slater Valley, which is where one of the places where grazing was very important. And according to my book, there are were 10 cattle ranches within hailing distance. The wealth of the Welsh princes was actually in cattle, not gold. It's actually the second castle built in this region. The first one, which you can still see today and is adjacent in the valley below, is called Tomen Castes, which basically just means hill castle. In a prior video, I talked about how Schwellenwald was born at Dolt with Ellen, but he was not born at the castle he himself built. He was born at this er earlier castle. All that remains of it now is a mound. But at one point, it was also made of stone, one of a cluster of stone castles built towards the end of the 12th century by the sons of Owain Gwynedd. Other castles include Castes Aberia, Dinas Emres, and Castes Penegar. They were fighting amongst themselves for control of Gwynedd, and Jorworth, Swellenvaur's father, was the eldest legitimate son, and he staked out Dol with Ellen as his domain. Thus, Swellen was born there in 1173. Jorworth, however, died in 1174, and that's the last we hear of Tomen Castes. For the stone castle that we see today, the original construction that Schwellen Vaur built was a simple two-story stone tower. The castle was embellished a little bit by his grandson, Schwellen Ap Griffith, but then a second tower was added by King Edward, starting in January of 1283 after the conquest of North Wales. And very little remains of that second tower. Today. That's right, it's just basically a wall. This is the West Tower. What you see here was built by Edward after the Llewellyn's defeat, but it replaced an earlier building. Two stories, fireplace, joists for the wooden beams. The castle was also refurbished in the 15th century and again in the 19th. The latter case in particular was sort of during a romantic period of castles and that's why you can see crenellations at the top. They were built during that time. I use this castle of Dole with Ellen in several of my novels. In particular, the first Gareth and Gwen medieval mystery, The Good Knight. This is the first castle from which they set off at the beginning of the story. It is also the castle to which Anna flees in Footsteps in Time after Castel Saber is burned by the English. Next week, we're gonna talk about the grandsons of Schwellenvaur and their struggle for control of Gwyneth after his death. If you like this video, click on the playlist or subscribe to my channel. There'll be a new video next week. And if you wanna check out my books, click on the link to my webpage.